Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA, and here at Telecom Exchange LA in Beverly Hills, we're joined by Miss Amy Marks. She is the CEO and co founder of Excite Modular. Amy, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you, Jamie. Happy to be here. Uh, we are so thrilled to have you, and you are uh, a true, fabulous female speaker in our industry, thought leader. Couldn't be more excited. For our viewers who might not be familiar, can you tell us a little bit about Excite? Excite Modular is a design build company that we focus on critical infrastructure buildings, including uh, modular cable landing stations, data centers, ILA huts, PFE shelters, anything that's a technology embedded modular building. And we build them here in the United States and we ship them all over the world. Um, we've built and installed on six of the seven continents. And I think what's really unique about us is that we just have a can-do attitude and we want our clients to be delighted. So I think we're that team that everyone comes to when they just need to solve for problems and they're looking for solutions and committed players that will make their lives easier. And boy, can your products stand up against the <laughs> against crazy Typhoon Category 5. Uh, sadly, Typhoon U2 made landfall as a Category 5 Typhoon in the Philippines just last week. And uh, it, although it wreaked havoc in the area, what did stay was that Excite Modular Cable Landing Station. It's still standing um, uh, untouched. Can you tell us a, a little bit more about your MCLS and this horrific storm? Yeah, so it was a Cat 5 uh, typhoon, and it actually went ripping through Philippines as well as Saipan, and the hardest hit was a, an island called Tinian, which we happen to have a modular cable landing station on Tinian that was designed to withstand 210 mile per hour winds. And we just installed both on Tinian and Rhoda for the Atissa system for Docomo Pacific last year. And so, although they are designed to withstand those uh, those kinds of winds and that level storm, um, we were tested immediately, really within the year, on one of the, probably the worst storm in uh, U.S. history, because those are U.S. owned islands. And so, I was very happy to hear from our client that everyone was safe, that was first and foremost, and that, you know, he, he said, Amy, we love for you to use us in your marketing materials because we're so happy with the fact that we have these wonderful buildings um, that withstood you know, this kind of a storm. Um, and he also told me that they had a containerized, um, uh, a container on the site as well. And, uh, and it got blown about 300 yards off of the site. And, you know, I always, you know me in the industry as the hashtag not a container, not a container. Uh, person. <laughs> and I think that's why, you know, we, we are really, um, really purposeful about our buildings being hardened and making sure that everyone gets a building designed for the requirements that their location is going to need or might need or even though this is a may never happen storm you know they need to be ready for that and they really were so I give a lot of kudos to our clients for requiring that in their building and I'm happy with my team um, and living up to the standards that we set at Excite. I mean amazing story Typhoon Category 5 just last week um, and and her modular uh, landing station um, untouched when uh, other containers in the area literally blown away so a uh, wonderful case study of, yeah. of, of the quality of work that you and your team deliver you know it's interesting I always say if I'm anywhere on an island or any town or any city where there is an incident, I always used to say to my clients, I know the first place I'm going is to my building. That's right. And I truly stand behind that because the first place I would go in those types of situations is to my building and I know I would be safe. So I'm happy to hear that our, our teams were safe out there. And you are being recognized. Um, Excite Modular was recently awarded a contract from the Solomon Islands Submarine Cable Company, for example, to design and build four modular cable landing stations. There's so many, so many contracts you're winning, I want to say. Tell us a little <laughs> bit more. What's going on at Excite? It's a bit it's a bit busy, actually, right now. So we've actually increased the size of our staff because um, we know everyone in the industry. So we're you know picking and choosing who we really want to bring in that fits our culture and has the experience. Um, but really, our core staff, um, we're lucky that we're winning some great projects. Um, we're actually doing six buildings in the Philippines as well and three in Europe, um, the ones in Solomon Islands and now also PNG. So we've got a lot coming up and, uh, and even more that I can't yet talk about, um, but we're really excited about it. And I think people are truly recognizing in our industry that they want to go to an expert that actually has
has built a lot of these buildings, learned a lot of things, and are applying that learning every single time to the next building we're doing. So we really build relationships, and I think they come back to us as these are a lot of different developers that you know um, sort of morph into other groups, and, and they know the quality of what we have to build, so they come back, and, and we're real pleased that they come back to us. Oh, I love that, and I could just imagine what your passport must look like, all the different <laughs> stands, like yeah, world traveler for sure. <laughs> I live on an airplane a bit, as you know, and uh, and I, I, but I wouldn't do it any other way. I mean, we are passionate about making our clients delighted in this industry, so I'll go to the ends of the earth, as my clients know. Uh, I always say I sleep with my cell phone, sometimes on the plane, <laughs> on the way to see them, but yeah, we, we, we love our clients. Yeah, well, it shows. So what is next? What What's on the horizon for Excite in the next three to six months? Yeah, so we've actually, what's on the horizon for for, for us at, at Excite is really we're adding a preventative maintenance program uh, in our in our offer of services to lots of our clients that have asked for it. Really, we're doing it because they've asked. They they don't want us to just build the building. They want us to stay around and help them um, maintain the building over the years to come. And although we have a 50 year plus lifespan building, you know we're going to be there every year now for each of those clients doing lots of preventative maintenance services, and and really again continuing to grow our relationship with clients and make sure that our buildings you know. Uh, live up to the expectation that we have of those um, buildings and, and really perf outperform you know, anything that's on the market. Again, another testament to uh, your dedication to customer satisfaction and, and delivering the product that you stand behind. So I, I couldn't, couldn't love that more. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I feel like we, we really love this industry. Mm -hmm. And I think the other thing you're going to see from us uh, is that we are really pushing, we have more and more clients that are morphing their cable landing stations into data centers. So we're building more and more hybrid cable station data centers yeah. and more and more edge and micro data centers as a result of that. So we see a real need and, and people asking us for more and more micro and edge data centers anywhere around the world and even in the U.S. especially uh, where people have you know moved towards digitization in those countries. So we're moving a little into a little bit different path on doing the micro and edge data centers, but it's morphed out of our you know experience in, in data centers as well as the cable landing station side and listening to your customers for sure and really listen honestly we we really do appreciate what our customers want and need and we're following their lead you know we want to be able to service them on whatever their path is I gotta love that okay so I'm sure really what our viewers want to know where can they find out more <laughs> well they can actually go to our website at x8modular.com um, we are more than happy you can I always say you can uh, contact us through the website uh, I'm all over LinkedIn and all over social media Media. So I answer every single request and any note that ever gets sent my way. So if you want to reach out to me, I'm happy to talk to you and, and help you on your journey. Oh, we love that. We love that. ExciteModula.com. Amy Marks, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking.